Dear viewers, according to economics, inflation is a persistent increase in the prices of goods and services. It means that inflation is initial in nature. But why is that so? To understand this concept, we have to look into the causes of inflation. Number one, it is due to demand and supply. But why does demand keep on increasing and why does not supply keep pace with it? So it could not be the reason behind persistent inflation. Number two, it is due to printing excessive money. So why shouldn't we stop printing money? In that case, inflation should halt. So it, it could not be the reason behind persistent inflation either. Number three, it is due to an increase in the prices of oil. But why does inflation occur when oil prices are going down globally? So it could not be the reason either. Number four, it occurs when economy is progressing but we see that inflation occurs even when the economy is going slowly or is stagnating so it could not be the reason behind persistent inflation either number five it is because people expect inflation to occur but we see that many a times inflation occurs even when people don't expect it to occur. So it could not be the reason either. Number six, it is because people demand an increase in their wages and salaries. I think it is the other way around. People demand an increase in their wages and salaries because of inflation. If there were no inflation, then they would not expect or demand an increase in their wages and salaries. So if none of these factors is the reason behind persistent inflation, then what is the main cause behind it? To understand it, we have to look at the formula of inflation. If we closely look at its formula, we will realize that 